so now either has the access for their account now we have to move forward and for this first of all here is the sidebar menu and the header bar menu all the things are static currently if we will not make it a dynamic we have to create then we will have to create uh, the header menu and the sidebar menu for every pages so we will make it dynamic for this we will create a including folder so this including folder will include all the including files for php so we will create an including folder on our server and the folder name is php includes now the file is created and just open the folder and now we will create another file it will call sidebar.php this file will hold all the all the information for sidebar and uh, the sidebar contained we will take it from our home.php file so i just open my home.php file and the sidebar start from here as you can see the sidebar just just take the sidebar from here and paste here and make an alignment for this and uh, it is done and now if i save the home page as you can see you will see the sidebar has gone away to access the sidebar we just need to include our sidebar.php file so we will no okay we will have to include the sidebar here now if i include php include and the folder is inside or oh, the file is inside php includes and the file is called sidebar.php now if now when we refresh the page the sidebar has came and now there is a header also we have to make a separate file for this header also we will create a, another file inside our php includes folder let's call header dot php and just need to just need to paste the header content from home page to header dot php and the header is start from here as you can see here is the header start just take the header code from here to header dot php and make an alignment for this so that it will be very easy to make any changes in future exchange now see the header should gone okay it is gone now we have to include the header in our home dot php file now the header we have to include the header like see php includes header dot php now when we refresh the page as you can see the header has came now we have sidebar we have header okay just two another things we have the head also we also need to make a separate file for our head section because in future if you make any changes in head so that you, you do not need to make the changes for each pages one by one for example if you put a uh, a uh, analytic codes or anything else for your header so you need to just paste it one place and for this your all page will be changed automatically so we will create another file and it should uh, we can put the name as head uh, header content it should good okay header content or anything else okay let's see header content header content and just take the content of head also and just cut it from here and paste it here also make the alignment for it and it's just save if i save the page now refresh the page and it should as you can see okay it, it is not updated as you can see we do not have any header we do not have any styling because we didn't include the file yet now we will include the header content here php include 
php includes it is the inside of php includes include header contain dot php file it is saved now if i refresh the page as you can see the header has came and all the styling is working properly okay now head section is also done now we have to make the footer as same because in future if you want to add any script for every page or any scripting related content or anything in footer you don't you have to change only one page and everything will be changed automatically so we will create another file called footer.php and it is created successfully and also need to just just uh, okay we have to remove this this content from here as you can see the logout model because we don't okay do we need this logout let's see if i click on here if i click on logout it says do you want to log out yes we need because in future we will use this logout system also so just take it or it also and for footer we can take the content from here and the scroller from here to here if i take the content from here to footer.php and also need to make the alignment every time you should remember we have to create the alignment for our content now see also now we have to include the footer here footer 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 okay footer is done uh, 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 uh. we have to take this what is this include not dollar and it is inside php includes folder and it is called footer.php let's see everything is working or not ready fresh everything is done good now we have now the now we can see we have a with okay, 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 okay there is another things that should be inside footer i think so there is you can see a copyright content and actually the file we have created it should not be called footer it should call footer content because the actual footer is here we just missed this so we will uh, okay okay let it go it is done now we have to make another file for this footer because we don't want to change the uh, the content for this for every page so we can create another file we can say this footer footer copyright okay this mean this is footer copyright and just cut it from here and just paste it here again don't forget for alignment and it is done if i refresh the page you will see the copyright should go okay it is gone now just include this and uh, include it is inside php includes folder and the file is called footer copy footer copy 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 write dot php let's see 